So my name is Martina Calais. I'm a senior lecturer at Murdoch University. I teach in the Renewable Energy Engineering major. I came to Murdoch first as an international student. So I worked on an exciting fuel cell project as part of my undergraduate engineering degree. I'm an electrical engineer. I then came and worked for Murdoch in 2000 and developed together with professors the Renewable Energy Engineering degree, the first of its kind in Australia. So the renewable energy engineering area is one major of the engineering offerings at Murdoch University. When I studied engineering, my education was very theoretical. When I came to Murdoch, I saw the labs and I was amazed. The labs we have are using industry equipment and are exposing students to the real world. We've, in renewable energy engineering, we have a lot of labs where students work on actual physical renewable energy systems. They work with measurement instruments like these ones. These are solar irradiance measurement instruments. And they get a lot of site visit and practical experience through their studies. After graduating, our students move into a wide variety of roles. The electrical power industry is currently undergoing a major transformation. We're seeing everywhere um, solar photovoltaic systems appearing on rooftops and we are moving away from centralised power generation to distributed energy resources. That is a major change and there are a lot of exciting jobs out there working on this transformation of the power industry. So our students are working with utility companies such as Western Power, Synergy, Horizon Power. They're going to consultancy companies. Some students are going overseas. They're working internationally on wind farm projects. Or just recently I got contacted by one of my, our ex-students telling me that he landed his dream job installing a major power plant, solar power plant in South Vietnam. In the Renewable Energy Engineering area, Murdoch is one of two universities in Australia which has gained um, accreditation with the Clean Energy Council. So units our students do in this major, they lead to provisional accreditation for system designer um, options and pathways um, with the Clean Energy Council. So, and some of our students are working in that area uh, and are designing standalone renewable energy systems as well as grid connected renewable energy systems. We've all been affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. I'm working from home at the moment. I'm liaising with industry partners from Horizon Power. They, they have stringent requirements. They need to keep the power systems in the remote areas of Western Australia running and just, that just highlighted how important our profession is in maintaining essential services. So everywhere where you need power to run hospitals, where you need communications to maintain vital links with, with people, this is where engineers contribute, where they manage projects, where they use their technical skills, their analytical skills, their problem solving skills to assist in critical situations such as this one.